I am Nana Dr. Michael Ejekum Ado. We are going to discuss the principles of success and wealth creation, honesty and reliability, hard work. Don't spend it all. After that, we'll discuss investment, how to invest. Then I'm saying that you don't have to forget your history, who you are, and where you belong to. Then we'll touch on the God factor. Finally, patience. All these ingredients will go into one being successful. Then because entrepreneurship is the order of the day, we'll also discuss the entrepreneurial revolution in the 21st century. So that graduates and then those who will be watching home base would also arm themselves with the ingredients of becoming a good entrepreneur. There's going to be a series of both the principles of wealth creation which addresses attitude and that of the fundamentals of entrepreneurship. Home base is the action point. Stay tuned and go by the series. Thank you. I am Nana Dr. Michael Ejikum Ado, the Nkabumihine of New Jabin Traditional Area and a PhD holder in entrepreneurship. We are going to discuss entrepreneurship in the 21st century and it comes with the fact that the population is increasing but industries are not increasing accordingly. So self-employment is the order of the day and that's the key that I'm going to give you the viewers and I hope you enjoy the series. The first in the series would be honesty and reliability. Seriously. If you want to be a successful entrepreneur, you got to be a reliable person, not necessarily honest person. When we think about time, time is nine o'clock and then you come at 9.15. You've been honest all right, but you were not reliable. You borrow somebody's pen and you refuse to get it back. And then you know it's not lost yet. You can still give it back. You've been honest, but you are not reliable. That's the first ingredient of success. Be reliable. The second one would be hard work. Savings culture would be the third one. Then we go into investment. Then don't forget your history. The God factor. It's also important. And finally, patience. This is what we are going to discuss within the series. These seven tested principles have been captured in this book, The Seven Principles of Success and Wealth Creation. And then the first one, the first principle is honesty and reliability. I am saying that facts and figures operate anywhere in the world. For example, a ruler is 12 inches make one foot in South Africa, in Ghana, in Nigeria, in Japan. It's a fact. The volume of 50 ml or 50 milliliter is the same anywhere in the world. Why are human beings different from certain parts of the world? Why? That's the question I ask. So if you want to be a good person, a reliable person in Ghana, so be it in America. But we all know that we, be, we behave differently from different environments. It shouldn't be. Because we are in the world of global. And if you are in the world of global and you are doing business globally, you sign contracts. You've got to go by the contracts. The legal issues has to work. That is reliability. So I've compiled a list of excuses that we give and if you go into the page 17 of the book you realize that i've compiled general i've compiled if it is in the office if it is technical if it is religious one of them is oh i forgot and we take it for granted it should be then because of the rain because of the traffic excuses oh no water somebody has died my father divorced my mom. If it's technical, it's spoiled. It's broken down. It's out of oil. And so on and so forth. Why? If it's office, he's gone to town. He's on leave. I'm on it. We are working on it. Excuses upon excuses. And be it religious. Oh, it's Satan. 
It's not good. It's the devil. It's not God's time yet. We went for a crusade. And I'm saying that, when can we avoid these excuses to get things done properly? Is it cultural? We give these excuses to avoid being challenged because the one listening to you will also be nodding the head. Silent sympathizer, I call such a person. It's not the best if you really want to be successful. So in general, we always want to avoid guilt and therefore find it difficult to accept our mistakes, faults or failures. But these excuses indicate that something had not been done well. Such excuses mean there was no performance. And if there's no performance and there's doubt in the whole arrangement, what follows is poverty. Being a reliable person is key. So fulfill all your promises. That's the key within honesty and reliability. Fulfill all your promises. Otherwise, don't promise at all. In a relationship, in business, in the church, in pledges, whatever you are doing, please make sure that you fulfill all your promises. Then comes to the money issue. Money to me is a spiritual form of paper. It's not ordinary paper. Otherwise, if it was ordinary paper, you can tear it into pieces and nobody cares. But if it is actual money approved by act of parliament, and then you try to tear it into pieces, people will not be happy with you. The law will be against you. Why? Because the people's mandate is in this paper. So it ceases to be ordinary paper. So if it, is, it ceases to be ordinary paper, meaning it is spiritual paper, then go to get it, work with it, save it, use it, all within the spiritual realm. Do unto others as you wish others to do unto you. That's how to handle money. I hope I'm clear. If you have any questions to ask, go ahead and ask me in the next episode through your comments, home-based television. That is the station of the nation for this series of entrepreneurship within 21st century. The next thing within reliability is that you must be at the right place at the right time for the right reasons. So whenever you are early at a party, it's good. Go by it. If you're a politician, you even have to do that all the more because people will be copying you. You don't let the people wait for you hours on end before you show up. That's not the best. And I appreciate the president and the vice and all the other people that go for functions and occasions. So protocol, make sure people get seated 15 minutes before the time so that the president and the vice will always be there at the right time. Be at the right place, at the right time, at the right reasons. Culturally, children are supposed to get seated before the elderly. From this principle, the elderly should also be there on time. The politicians be there on time. The chiefs be there on time. Teachers, pastors be there on time. Celebrities be there on time. And when we all go by the time and we believe that time is money, there we go. The whole country, the whole population will also be making money. And because time and tide wait for no man, make sure that your time is fulfilled all the time because it will not wait for us in 21st century we have already 21 years already gone please entrepreneurship is the order of the day it's a revolution by Kuratko an authority in America he says that the entrepreneurial revolution that we are experiencing in the 21st century 
It's going to be more powerful than the 20th century industrial revolution. So from 1900 to 2000 was industrial revolution. Countries that st stepped aside and did not go by industrial revolution became poor. And those who embarked on industrial revolution became rich. Luckily for us, 21st century has come with another revolution, entrepreneurial revolution. Let's embark on it. And that is information, technology, entrepreneurship. Just the mindset, the right side of your brain works with imagination, works with vision, works with dreams. So what do you see? What do you know? That is the order of the day. You see your brain to do a lot of things. Because the software is doing accounting, is doing finance, is doing architecture, is doing pharmacy. The software is doing everything. So what are you going to do? And this calls for the TVET policy that the government has embarked on. TVET is the order of the day. That is vocations. So whatever subject you are doing, whatever profession that you are in, please make sure you have other things like vocations that you embark on. It will help you create business, create wealth, and you should be the best person in this country. For your friend is CEO slide. So man be a be koswa. Ne jina ne man for a kufama ene a mukika. Kabi mami kabi a mamuoti. Ene ubi a tu mi chira na jini ema o man o a koswa. You say jina ho base television that way. Ya kofa jume diye be a ba. Your friend o man a koswa. Man koswa trasia. Yani seasoned journalist, politician. A man of four. Ene kuku dami a ninti for a be simple na. And some way ko chiri ko be man o na wa chiri mu jina. I never permu to my sibre. My cost of a bow aquaso. Mimin that way, any mimin the pia. The fee and no pan and no watch so. A cosin no do so. A mine cosmo. A yaminu mirmi. I said here. Oh, how the billion air cosu or my gun. Be a year if he had to call my gun. A pint in one would do a enye. And your how any a bene, any a toda, woo, and a mother. Se wo pe be bi e bi tiatu e wo man ga ni mo ini na yini asitira no so kwa de ko de ni ama nema bo e ye den na wo kesa ni ma wo ni o ha wo ni na kira ya to abade ma mpenivu so mo ko hye mara na nema mo engo emfa baye sanso na mpenivu so aya to mo so mo nda enya mi awu do ni asoya wo do ni na no so o mo wo so ko si sen anu ti e na wo se wo hye me rsm kofi do losen e wo dwuma bi aya to ni din Ghana is saying, a Jordan, a copy of Fiada, no Mielu, a copy of No Nine, Naya Tanase, Nina, Yaji Kabi Mammy Kibi, a Mamodi, and the Nayan Fire Mo and Tum. Ghana is saying, I was always working. Welcome back. You know what? One aspect of being a reliable person is the fact that first impressions last long. This means that the right from infancy in your family life, society or community, display the sense of dependable relationship at all times, in capital letters, at all times. It is the people closer to you who will always testify about you, especially when you are not present or when you are not available. Recommendations are normally given when you are not there. Let them talk about you, but then they have to add that he is a reliable person. That is key for success and wealth creation. It will bring trust. Again, don't procrastinate, my dear friends. If the ant from the Bible was to procrastinate, then it would mean that the ant at this season, when it's raining, 
would have no food. But then, let us study what the ant does. And Proverbs chapter 6, 9 to 11, sleeping a little, folding your arms a little, that poverty will catch you like a thief comes to your house. Choose your words carefully. When you don't want to fulfill your promise, don't promise at all. There is a story of the shepherd boy who always cried wolf to deceive his people and laugh over it like he was joking. One day when the wolf really came, nobody took him serious. Nobody came to his aid. He lost his sheep to the wolf. So don't say, me can be agro. Oh, me na me di agro. Don't do that. Be serious with your life and make sure that you go by being a reliable person. Remember, and this is key, that it is people that make money. So my definition for money is people. If you want to really make money, it is through people. You use people. You save with people. You buy from people. People come for money from you. It's people. So if you don't know how to handle people, it will be very difficult to handle money. So to be a wealthy person, in my dictionary, is that not how much money you make, or not how much cash that you have or properties, but how much you can handle people with wisdom. So my definition for wealth is not cash, but wealth is wisdom and people. I hope you've got it clear. Wisdom and people. The kind of relationship, the kind of network that you have. How often do you keep your, your relationship in trust? A lot of people have friends from outside. And in no time, their friendship breaks down. All because he did not show reliability. You buy from people you don't want to pay. You collect loans you don't want to pay. Why is it so? Especially church members. And I want to emphasize on that. Don't take things for granted that he is my church member. And so I can take it for granted. I can pay as and when I like. No. He has to work with it. So, dear friends, dear viewers, I want to emphasize that in this 21st century, under entrepreneurship, please be a reliable person. Then we come to self-discipline and self-control. If you are a self-disciplined person, you must be able to control yourself. These days, we are teaching emotional intelligence. And emotional intelligence talks about social skills. And what is social skills? The way you handle your network, the people that you know from your family, from your church, from school, from your business. How do you handle your social skills? Then you must be aware. Under emotional intelligence, self-awareness is important. Self-regulation and self-control is important. Empathy is important. Self-motivation and social skills. These are all important. The next thing under reliability is your time management. You need to be time conscious, my dear friend. If you want to be a reliable person, that goes with time. A reliable person organizes his time and sticks to his time all the time. In effect, the day must be well planned to enable you to make the most out of it to keep your appointments. That's why in uh, work as a CEO, you have to have a secretary, you have to have a laptop or your mobile phone to give you the information as to your plans. You have to be careful as to how you handle your life. I remember well that soon after I started my business and the banks did not know me and I needed a loan, somebody has to recommend me. And the bank will ask, who would be your recommended person, your referee? Who would give you the reference? And it is important that you should have shown yourself to be a reliable person. The next in this series would be pledges. A lot of people just pledge for fun. You don't have to pledge for fun. It is increasingly becoming a common phenomenon in our churches and social gatherings where people make financial pledges 
or commitments and never fulfill. <laughs> These kinds of people are neither honest nor reliable. Others to pledge and pay after the given time has elapsed. You've been honest, but you are not reliable. My dear friends, be a reliable person. Lying as compared to honesty and reliability. A lie is a falsehood. Please don't lie. Politicians, don't lie. Pastors, don't lie. Don't give assurance to the church members that we are going at one o'clock to help our dear sister who has lost the mom. And by 12.30, you are preaching and the Holy Spirit has descended. And so one o'clock comes and you still have not finished. Those of your church members who are reliable will be watching their time and they will be remembering the fact that you gave them a promise that one o'clock you all have to move to the funeral grounds. And that's when the Holy Spirit has descended. It's not right. You have to go by your time because Holy Spirit also goes by time. Don't lie to children, my dear friend. Don't promise them with ice cream, book, or toy without fulfilling. Very dangerous. It means that their foundation from their appearance is lies. It's not the best. Reliability comes with being honest to your children, to your spouses, to your partners, to everybody. Don't try to cover up lies. It will not help you by giving excuses and expect the person to understand you. If you are a reliable person, you don't need to give any excuses. And finally, I want to recommend that you must preserve good books, good reputation, and good people. Have you ever wondered what plus size ladies go through? I'm talking about relationship, dating, family. Well, this is what Tech Choice is all about. I chose this platform because I know when I come here, mm -hmm. I'll get someone that I love and I'll meet myself at now. Because you can look at me. I'm very sexy and hot. <laughs> oh, he wants to be stayed in tree, right? Mm -hmm. Oh no, we are dear no. <laughs> What that is a girl I'm saying no. <laughs> no, wait, wait, when you tell me that she knows you, I don't get it. She knows you how? That you are a womanizer? She's not so good.